Hi guys, welcome to my first ever video lesson. Please do consider subscribing my channel and click the notification bell so that you will be updated on the next videos. At the end of this video lesson, you will be able to describe a mathematical system, illustrate the need for an axiomatic structure of a mathematical system in general, and particularly the undefined terms of geometry. Before we start our lesson, let us have first our pretests. You are going to identify what is being asked in each question. You can pause the video and play after you are done answering. Let us check your answers. Number 1, C. Number 2, A. Number 3, B. Number 4, C. Number 5, D. Later on, you will be able to learn those terminologies. On your grade 7 lesson, you were introduced to the point, line, and plane. In this activity, classify the following words that represent a line, point, and plane from the given word bank. We have blackboard, top of table, laser, ray of light, top of a book, electric wire, paper, ruler, tip of a pen. What are the lines in the given word bank? That is, laser, ray of light, ruler, and electric wire. What are the points in the given word bank? That is, tip of a pen. What are the planes in the given word bank? That is, blackboard, top of table, top of a book, and paper. In your grade 7 lesson, you were introduced to the world of geometry. Similar to other fields of mathematics, geometry has also a mathematical system that is made up of undefined terms, defined terms, axioms or postulates, and theorems. The undefined terms are terms that cannot be defined because they can only be described or illustrated. The three undefined terms are point, line, and plane. These undefined terms are the building blocks of defined terms and axioms or postulates. Defined terms are terms with a precise and concise definition. For example, coplanar lines are lines on the same plane. Axioms or postulates are statements accepted to be true without proof. For example, Two points determine a line. On the other hand, statements that are proven to be true using definitions, actions, or postulates and derived using reasoning are called theorems. For example, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of triangle is 180 degrees. Let us move forward to the focus of this topic, the undefined terms. Undefined terms are words that do not require formal definition. In geometry, there are three undefined terms. Many geometric terms were defined using the undefined terms. Notice that from the given definition of coplanar lines, the word line and plane were used. The point, line, and plane are called undefined terms. We cannot define these terms because they can only be described or illustrated. A point has no dimension or actual size. It has no length, no width, or thickness. Point occupies no space. A point is usually represented by a dot and named by a capital letter. For example, we have here a dot A. It is read as point A. Another example, we have dot B. It is read as point B. What is a line? A line has infinite length, no width, and thickness. It extends to one dimension only. A line is named by a single lowercase script letter or by any two or more points which lie on the line. For example, we have here a line. How to name a line? A line is named by two of its points with a symbol like this written on top of two letters. A line may be also named by one small 
letter like this letter N or a number like line number 3. So, the possible name of the line are line AB, line AC, line BC, line N or line 3. The subsets of a line are ray and line segments. A ray is a part of a line that starts at one point and extends infinitely in a set direction. What are the rays in this given? We have ray AB, ray BC, ray BA or ray CA. The segments on line 3 are segment AB, segment BC and segment AC. What is a plane? A plane has infinite length and width but no thickness. It is a flat surface. It is named by a single letter M or by using at least three points that do not lie on the same line. For example, we have here a plane with points P, S, T and a capital letter R. To name a plane, you can use a capital letter written at the corner like this capital letter R or by using three non-collinear points in it. So we have point P, point S, and point T. So we can name this as plane PST or plane R. Let us try this activity so that you may be able to learn how to name a point, line, or a plane. Number one, we have here a line with point D and point F. And we have also small letter Y. So we can name this as line Y or line DF. Number two, we have here a dot and a capital letter Z. So we know that this is a point. So we can name it as point Z. Number three, we have here a plain figure. We can use the capital letter H. And we can also use the three non-collinear points, point P, point Q, and point R. So we can name it as plain H, plain PQR. Plain QRP, Plain RQP, Plain PRQ, Plain QPR, and Plain RPQ. So these are the possible names of this plane. Number 4, we have here a line with point U and point P. We can just write UP with arrow at the top of capital letter. Number 5, we have here a plane and we have a capital letter N. So, we can name it as plain N. And we can also use the three non-collinear points which are H, I, J. So, we can name this as plain N, plain H, I, J, plain H, J, I, plain I, J, H, plain J, I, H, plain J, H, I, and plain I, H, J. Let us try another activity. Activity 2, use the figure at the right to answer what is being asked. Number 1. How many planes are there in the figure? Let us count the planes in the figure and let us identify them. So we have plane HXBN. We have plane HJX. That is 2. We have plane XJB. That is 3. Plane BNJ. 4. And plane JHN. So there are 5 planes in this figure number two how many planes contain h planes that contain h are h x b n h x j and h j n so there are three planes contain h number three name two lines that contain n what are the lines that contain n the possible answers are h n BN, TN, and JN. I just want to clarify that this is JN. Number four, name two points not on the plane XBN. So, what are the points not on the plane XBN? That is point J and T. Number five, name four points that are coplanar. What are the four points here? That is point H, point N point B and point X. Now let us try another activity. Draw and label a figure for each condition. Number one, plane FGH. So we are just going to draw a plane and then write the points FGH inside the plane. 
Number two, line Z intersecting line TQ at M. What you are going to do is to draw a line Z and draw a line TQ. The intersection of line Z and line TQ is M. Number three, ray AB and ray AM intersect at point A. So you are just going to draw a ray AB and ray AM intersect at point A. Or you can just draw a ray AB. So this is A and ray AM. So this is ray AM and this is ray AB. And their intersection is at point A. You can use this both figure. Number four, plane H contains line 3 but does not contain Z. So what you are going to do is just to draw a plane. And inside the plane, you are going to draw a line. And that line is a line 3. But does not contain Z. Mm -hmm. Mean to say Z is outside the plane. Number 5, point W lies on line ST. What you are going to do is to draw a line with point ST. It says here that W lies on ST. You can put W in the middle of line ST. This is point S, point W, and point T. Okay? Now, before we end this lesson, please try to answer these following questions. Number one, which of the following does not describe a mathematical system? That is, intersecting line. Because postulates and axioms, theorems, undefined and defined terms are the components of mathematical system. Number two, what undefined term that has infinite length but no width nor thickness? That is, line. Number three, what does the edge of a box represent? Is a line. Number four, which mathematical system does not require a definition but it is used as a basis in defining other terms? Keyword here is not require a definition. So that is undefined terms. Letter D. Number five, the following are the possible names for the line illustrated below except RS is a possible name of the line. Line ST is also a possible name of the line. Line RT is also a possible name of this line but line RP is not a possible name of the line. So the answer is letter D line RP. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye!